Hey everybody, it's the hole inside my head. Um, geez, I'm getting a lot of tutorials off today. Anyway, um, here's my first GIMP tutorial. On it's a basic how to color tutorial. Okay, so you open up the GIMP program, and then you open up the open button, and then you click the picture which you want to color. Now this is specifically for coloring. I've got a bunch of other tutorials that I'm gonna let out, but right now, yeah, just the basics of the basics. So open up a picture that is a black and white. Ignore the finger if you can. Um, let's see. Ignore the finger, please. Uh, I will be doing it step by step and fast forwarding through the coloring parts. Um, but I will walk it, um, give you guys a walkthrough. Okay, so first make your background a multiply and then make a new layer. Multiply that one as well. If you guys don't know what this is, this is your layer, layer, channels, and paths window, and it should be up when you first open up GIMP. If it's not, um, then you can open it up, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later, okay? Anyway, sorry about that. Okay, you're going to want to make a new layer for each um, part of the picture you color. So first up, let's start with the skin. Make it a little bit of a light peach. And then you just take your brush and you start coloring. And I'll be back after I'm done. Okay, now that you got the basic color down, first thing you want to do is erase what you got out of the lines with. Again, please ignore the finger. I'll try to get rid of it. I don't know how at the moment, though. Um, let's see. Take your eraser key and just start erasing along the edges. Okay, now you guys are probably thinking, why did I have to go through all of that stuff? Um, in order to have the layers match up right, um, or have them do what you want them to do, some of them you can back off and not have to erase all the little blemishes, blemishes and all that stuff, but um, on some of them you really have to be clinical about it and like, is that the right word? I hope it is. And, um, try your best to get all the bad spots out. Because, like, I'm going to make his teeth really white, and in order to do that, that layer is going to be underneath this layer. Um, so the, the skin can't overlap the teeth. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, okay, I think I'm pretty much done with the skin. Oh, wait, let me check the finger. Uh -oh. Okay, that's it for the basic layer of the skin. Now it's time to add some shadows and effects like that. What's really cool is you can get it like that. Creepy, huh? Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, in order to add shadows, you go here to the Dodge Burn tool. Um, if you want to add shadows first, go to Burn, you go to Shadows, and um, make the brush size the size you want. And you add this to the parts that you want to make darker, the parts where you want shadows to be. Okay? And see, you can overlap the hair and it doesn't matter. That's why I went through all that stuff with the erasing and the taking foreverness of it, of it all. Okay, now that that's done, um, you want to do the highlight, select Dodge, 
from the dodge burn window and highlight. Okay, I know that looks really weird right now, like it will be choppy and you can see where all um, the different colors are. Next you go up here to the bar and select filters, go to blur and garrison blur. If that's done, it's the place where you can see all where all the colors are. And then um, just leave it the way that it is, and you click horizontal up and down to see how blurry you want the colors to be. You don't even have to blur it that much. Go to one where it's as dramatic as it is to like 30, where you really can't tell where one color starts and another one begins. Or ends, sorry. Um, okay, so I'm going to pick 18, just because it's easy enough. And once it's done, see? can't really tell. Everything's all blurred together. Looks nice. Um, okay. So now that all that's done, get a new layer and do the same thing again. Make it a multiple. Uh, oh wait, before that. Um, go back to your old layer and erase some of the color on um, wherever you are that the skin might have washed on too. Okay, sorry about that, all that. Then you color whatever color you want the hair to be. I like light blue. Get your eraser. And you can erase. What's really cool about it is if you do the layer thing like I do, you can erase over colored things that are, uh, sorry, parts of the picture that are already colored, and you don't have to worry about erasing the other color, if that makes sense. I hope so. If not, tell me. Clean out everything for the hair. Now I see a couple of parts in this in the skin, so all you have to do is go back, to the layer you previously worked on, take this little eye drop skin tool, get a good portion of the skin that you think the color would be nice as, change your brush size to whatever size you need it, and color in the part that you missed. So you can get on the spots here, copy the unit, copy the color, and Okay, once that's all done, the dodge burn thing again. Um, I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to cut it. And basically, all you guys have to do is do what I did and create new layers, new layers, new layers until your entire picture is done. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then once I'm done with the whole thing, I will post it for you guys. So yeah. Watch out for that. Bye. Okay, guys. That's it. That's what it came out to look like. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave a comment or a message. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Peace out. Rock on. Bye-bye.